One of the activities we did at Glen Affric was to prepare a sand trap. We cut up some horse meat, we tied it to a rock, got some fresh sand and spread it around a particular area that we targeted, put the rock with the meat in the middle, look to see what was there in the morning. And in our case, it was really cool what we saw at the end. Check this video out to see what we saw. Right here, Mr. Uh, tried to... <laughs> the reserve still needs, like the vehicles need to be maintained, the animals need to be fed, we all know they eat meat. So this is all the storerooms and the fridges where we keep the meat. Alright, so we're going to cut up some nice nice big chunks, and we're going to tie the rope on. So whoever's ready to do that, everyone, some people. You just kind of got to feel for some, some nice pieces. Ooh. It is very cold. <laughs> Get that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. How strong is that bone? Good job. It's strong. What animal did you say this was? It was a horse. Okay. Not sure about the stance here. So am I going right here? Yeah. Okay. Good. You might want to stand more in line with it. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll cut to you. Careful behind you. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Nico, you're really excited. I like this. Like <laughs> Remember, we're doing three pieces, so there's going to be lots of time. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Nico, I need a bone in my not hitting the No, that's the yeah, bone. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Ow. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> that's dinner. <laughs> I'm sure we're really paying off three, but... <laughs> Next one. Oh! Great catch! So that needs to go to... Alright, so what we're doing now is we are going to create our own sand trap. And we've been given an objective by Sam and Bernie here. But it's up to the students to decide how they want to organize this. They're going to put a piece of meat tied to this rock and oh, the build their sand oh. around it. Okay, so I'm gonna get some tools. And they have to decide how they want to do this. And there's a hole over here in the fence where the hyena and the leopard might come through. This is the fence that marks the border of this reserve. But out here, there are leopards and hyena who might come through, maybe jackal as well. See so this spot right here in the fence. And so we tie a piece of fresh meat here and hope that we'll see footprints in the morning. Students are grabbing their tools. We've already gathered the red sand. Sam and Bernie are out on the other side of the fence checking for tracks, seeing what might come our way. We're making great progress here and clearing this whole space. Okay. All right, so they prepared the sand. Should be able to get some good footprints from it. And now we're tying the meat. I've got my fingers, but I don't have no rope. <laughs> no, wait. Okay, maybe a skinnier stick? You want to try again? Yeah? Yeah. Again? Oh, this is... Yeah, it's And then just tie it somewhere. Okay. Tight. Okay. Yeah. Delicious. Okay. Then you just tie this like a normal one. Mm-hmm. Normal knot. Yeah. Then you stick it through the loop. Pull it away. Yeah. And now you're gonna pull it that way. No. This way. Yeah. Nice and tight. So that pillow is all under the rock again. How would you know if it's a horse or not? Just like the way it looks. The smell. Oh, the smell. That's interesting. Horse meat smells very sweet. You can smell your hands. That's what horse meat smells like. And you're not gonna eat a normal piece of meat. It's quite sharp. Uh, let me cut the first one just so that you can see what size. So someone's going to hold it. 
you're not going to cut them. I'm going to cut this sorry, piece. Sorry, 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 sorry. And you're just going to cut, remember not to cut yourself. This knife is not as sharp as the one we used at the workshop. All right. throw it. Two people, one person's I holding. And then, yeah, just where, over. let's get the teachers. Owen, Owen. <laughs> so, yeah, just somewhere. Yeah. Don't cut towards someone. Perfect. And then you find yourself give a spot. It to, give it to you got it, Paul? You're going to throw it to someone. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no. Mm. <clears throat> Good stuff, ladies. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you get the piece? Yeah. <laughs> For the yeah. I'm sorry. I used the sticker. Alright, so drop those last pieces. Yeah. Jackal footprint already over here. Mm -hmm. Zoom into there. And then there's another one walking over here. Yeah. But I can't see any hyena. Okay. But we'll take a walk inside and go see, see if there's anything there. Mm -hmm. But so far there is jackal. Okay. Great. Grass areas. Right. Then I'm going to go to where there's a nice big track. I'll circle it so that you can all see it. Right. So spread yourselves over there. Oh. Oh. So this is a front foot. Right. Oh, it's much I see. bigger. I see. Oh yeah. I That's see. the back foot. All right. Mm -hmm. Now how you can tell it's hyena is with the lobe. All right. Hyenas are part of the. They're actually their own family, but they were part of the dog family because of their feet. Now a lobe is this over here. We've yeah. also got two lobes here. Right? So that's two. Lions have three. They go like that. There's another lobe in the middle and then the edge. So hyenas have a dog lobe. So over here you can see there's one, two lobes. You mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. Right, then they're, they're pads. That's a pad and then the finger pads. The two sides. So this inside finger and the pinky are kidney shaped so now what you can do you can walk up and down not in the road itself and just find yourselves also try identify the tracks yourselves we'll spend about five minutes walking up and down on the middle island and the two outer side the hyena i think there was more than one because there's lots of tracks so walking down. sam you are an amazing <laughs> So the meat is gone. Come back and check it out. And what we have is lots of jackal and some warthog prints. And the meat's gone. The string is gone too. Yeah, the whole thing's gone. I took it from right under the rock. Mm -hmm. See how the rock's even moved? Shows you how strong the jackal is. Yeah. Maybe there was two of them.